Hey guys, it's Alex here and today I've got another After Effects tutorial for you and this time I'm going to be going over, um, I'm going to call it the Audio Synced HUD bars I guess so literally all it is is these small bars down here that follow the uh, HUD and, as you, and they are audio reacting to the music now it's relatively simple um, and I just thought I'd make a quick tutorial on it because I thought it was quite a neat effect so I shall get into it. Um, first of all, I'm just going to delete all of these layers because they are what the bars actually are. So we just have our clip. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new solid. And you could call this uh, audio, oh God, audio bars. Sorry for loud keyboard. Click OK. And uh, God, sorry, I'm just gonna have to drag. I'm just gonna drag this down above my clip wherever it is, uh, which is around here. So I'll just drag it above there for now, and there we have our black solid. All, now what I can do is we can go into the effects and preset sets and type in audio spectrum. So we have audio spectrum here, and we can drag that onto our black solid that we made. And as you can see, we will get this bar in the middle. Now it's just completely still because we haven't actually selected our audio layer. And we can then go and select our audio layer, which mine will be right at you know it's somewhere at the top. Here we go. There's my audio layer, but so you pick your um, soundtrack. And I could, you know, you can change the color. I'm just going to make this an orange because it will match my color correction I'm working with. Something a bit like that, and then I'll probably make the outside color a slightly lighter color. So, but what I can do is I can click here, click on the eyedropper tool, and then click on the inside color, and then just make that lighter up to the top there. So now we have our colored audio bar. Now we want it to follow the HUD. So what we can do is we can hide our audio spectrum. Oh, do you know we can actually keep it on? But we want to select our pen tool. You can either click on the pen tool or you can select or you can hit G. And we're just going to use and scroll in and then press space to get up our hand and move around. And now I'm going to be masking this bar here because this is where I want my bar to be. So I can make a point, I can hold shift and then click, and that's going to make it a dead straight line. And I can go up here and I can just use the tools here just to bend it. So I haven't actually clicked off of it yet, and I'm just using it to manipulate the uh, path into a curve that is going to fit my HUD, just like that. So now we have our mask. And now what we can do is we can go into our audio spectrum. Oh good, we can now go into our audio spectrum there, and then we can click on path, and we can make it mask one because we created a mask, and as you can see, it follows our mask, and that makes it it's very simple and it's easy to do and what I like to do also is you can see it's not just suddenly stops and what I like to do is just to make it fade out slightly so what we can do is we can make a new layer and I'm just gonna actually duplicate this back there I'm just gonna delete the spectrum off of it and go hit M and delete the mask and I'm gonna hit return and call this um, we call it track mat just keep it simple and click OK and now we can hide this layer and all we're going to do is we're going to mask just a small box that just overlaps the end like this and then we can also do it for the same for the other end like so like that and if I was just to put on turn on our layer you would see we have two black boxes here and now what you need to do is you need to make and actually first of all we can change the feather to maybe about a hundred pixels uh, actually maybe not uh, sorry to about 25 ish so we just have a small sort of black overlapping that maybe maybe even less actually I don't know, actually maybe we should just no what we'll do first is now we want to use these um, black boxes to hide some of our things. So what we can you do, you do is we can use track mats. So we have our boxes here. We need to make sure that's above our audio bars, and we can hit F4 on our keyboard to get up our track mat options, and we can make this alpha inverted of the um, 
of the track mat and as you can see they have disappeared but now if we were to hit F on our keyboard or on our track mat and we were to select both of these what we can do is we can just slowly pull up the feather to maybe about 10 and as you can see it feathers it slightly so I think probably 25 was about right and as you can see it just fades out a bit more gradually and it just looks a overall cleaner effect in my opinion and that is basically it so then you can also do that for I attended to do it for this one as well so what we can just do is we can just uh, I'll just do it very quickly so we can duplicate our audio bar uh, first of all we'll take off the track mat just like so we can go click M delete the mask then we can create a new mask with our pen tool and hold shift and then I'm just doing this very quickly and then get a sort of circle probably want to move that in a bit like so that will do and then we can click go up to our mask make it mask one so now we have another audio bar and we can delete this track mat layer duplicate sorry and drag that above our other audio bar and then we can just again mask and then also mask and then we make our audio bars um, oh, alpha inverted of our track mat and we can get F on our keyboard select select the oh I've still got the other masks there delete those select the, select the two feather it by 25 pixels and then we can close it up and then we can zoom out and I will just select away and as they have it they are our audio bars, they will now be audio reacting to your song and as you can see they look very nice, you could even maybe just put some glow on it, so type up some glow, uh, drag that on to the audio bars and then also onto the other audio bar and it's a bit more vivid colours, it's a bit nicer and yeah that's basically it guys so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial just a little quick thing that i thought i would uh, go over and keep on leaving your tutorial requests in the description that's uh, not description i'm around about in the comments and yeah i will see you on the next one guys thank you for watching this video see ya